Hello, I'm Simon. Welcome back to the workshop. Now, about a month ago, I made these book binding jigs so that I could build my own astronomy log books with custom forms in them. Having done that, I now want to store these notebooks all together in a leather bound case, similar to the sort of thing you'd get in a traveller's notebook. If you're not sure what a traveller's notebook is, they're basically a leather cover that allows you to insert your own notebooks so that when they're used up you can take them out and put new ones in. So that's what we're going to do in this video. Let's get tinkering. You can buy these covers from the Traveller's Company or Midori and other outlets, but they are terribly expensive. So what I've gone and done is bought a sheet of high quality thick leather and a kit of leather sewing bits plus some of these leather punches and I'm hoping that with these two things I can make something very similar to those that are sold at a fraction of the price. So I've checked that this lever is square and I want to leave about a quarter of an inch gap on all sides and then this has got to hold five of these books so I've left a gap in the middle which is five books thick there's three books here and you can see there's enough space left for the other two. What I'm going to do is mark this up along here so I've got a quarter of an inch left all the way along and then I'll mark it up here. Now I want this to end up a quarter of an inch down here as well but I'm worried that if, I, if I've got this measurement wrong that it'll end up being too short so I'm actually going to cut it a little bit long and then I'll trim it later but the top and the bottom I'm less worried about I think I can get that right. I measure down from the top to eight and a quarter inches and scribe a line across. As a double check I measure from the bottom up to the line and just check that it's the same because this is square so they should be the same and they are. I've just tested it was the right size with the book on and realised that I've scribed the line in the wrong place. It should have been eight and three quarters, not eight and a quarter. So I need to do that again. This lever does smell nice. I then measure along 13 and 3 quarter inches which will give me plenty of space for the books to fold over. It will probably mean that I need to trim the ends. This is the first time I've done any leather work so don't take this as being the right way to do it. I am really just making it all up as I go along and doing what I think feels right. So I've got my steel rule and I've got, a, got the steel rule on the side I want to keep so that if I slip and go this way it's not going to ruin the piece I want to keep. I'm using a Stanley knife, I don't know if that's how you should cut leather, it's the way that I'm going to try doing it and I'm going to scribe a line all the way down and I'm just going to keep going backwards and forwards like this until I cut through the leather. If there are any people out there that make leather goods and can tell me the right way to do this or confirm that this is the right way then please leave a comment. That seems to have worked quite well. Now do the other side. So I can see this folds over quite nicely. There's plenty of space. I'll probably trim it slightly. What I now need to do is find the centre between these two edges. Now I want to punch five holes in a line along here with the third hole, the middle hole, at the point that I've uh, marked it and I want to do the same here. I have 
a choice of punches here. That one's got six prongs, so that one's not going to be any good. Um, these, well, that's one prong, that's not going to be any good. But these two together, I think I can get the spacing right. So I'm going to put the third prong in there. So I'll get my three holes that side, one hole the other side of it. And then I can put this in that hole to mark the last hole to get it right. And I think all you have to do with these, if I've understood it properly, is literally use a hammer. Gone through. Gone through. Now I'm going to use the other hole as a marker. Got five little holes. I'm going to use those holes when I come to sew. So now I'm going to do the same at this end. I'm using the book as a guide for how far down from the lever I need to go. I'm going to do it there like that and then just move a long one and do it again. Okay, so that's my five holes. The thread I'm using, it says here 150D, 0.8mm, number 34. Um, I don't know what any of that means. I guess the 0.8mm is probably the thickness of the thread. And the thread is a waxed thread by the looks of things. I am completely out of my comfort zone here in terms of my skill level to do this. But I'm hoping that my maker experience and my woodworker experience will be enough to get me through the project. So I believe that's enough thread. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six and a bit lengths. That should be plenty. Actually, these needles have got very large eyes. There's some smaller ones. I've actually found a smaller needle which might work better. So I'm going to go through the second to last one. Perhaps it's the second one, I don't know. I'm going to leave a bit to tie a knot. I'm going to come through the back. I'm going to come all the way down to the end, to the first one. Pull it tight and then I'm going to go up. I'm going to go through this one. And then back through this one and so on until I've got five threads running the length of this piece of leather, or the width of this piece of leather. And now I need to come back through because I need to tie it in a knot. So I've got my five threads, and now I just need to tie them off. Probably easier said than done. Okay, I'm going to leave these threads at the moment. I will trim them, but for now they're going to be left like that. So let's see if this works. Open to the middle of the book, and I'm going to thread these, the book through. The first one, which I thought would be really easy, but it's, there we go. And then the next one, through the middle. I'm thinking I may have put these a little bit too close. But we'll see if we can get it to work out or not. On the centre of the book. Where's the centre? This is getting very tight now. Cut it from this angle, maybe. That is a bit too tight. I need to make them a bit looser in next if I make another one of these. Okay. So this is looking pretty good. You know, it's tied in slightly and it's giving it a bit of a book sort of spine shape, which is quite nice. And then if I actually go through the book, 
it does actually open out nice and flat and even if I go to other pages in the book it opens out nice and flat. It's working exactly as I expected it. So I'm, you know, this is how you'd expect a book to work. The only thing I think I need to do is round off these corners and just trim this edge here and this edge here. Just take a little bit off of them so that it doesn't have such an a overlap. I think it'll just make it look a bit nicer. I think I'm going to take about that much off. I think I'm hitting a dog hole. I'm just going to move this. Oh, now I'm hitting all the dog holes. Let's measure this side as well. Found these bench dogs are about the right radius to mark the corners, how I want them cut off. It's quite difficult. I don't know if using a pencil is the right thing to do really with leather, but that's how I'm doing it. I think you can actually get corner punches to do this, but I didn't really want to spend any more money. Now the sewing kit came with these little scissor things and I thought, oh, they'll be useless, but actually they're very good. So I'm hoping that I can cut these corners off using these. Possibly not the best finish, but I'm probably the only person that's ever gonna see it, other than the 250 people that actually watch this video. And if you do watch this video, just leave a note to say you've watched it and then I'll know the names of the 250 people that watched the video, which would be really nice. You can just say, hi, I watched the video. If you want, give me some comments if you liked it or you didn't like it. And that's it, I think. So I've got to trim these. Well, I am just so pleased with myself. This has worked out really really well. I am really happy with it. I think this makes my own bound books feel very nice and tactile to hold and it's something that means that I will um, have pride in filling out when I'm doing my astronomy. I think there are some things that I could do differently or I might change on this such as adding a pen loop and perhaps some way of holding the thing together but it doesn't really need it for my observatory and it holds the books really nicely they don't fall out they all open really nicely and they stay lay flat I really can't express how happy I am with my first adventure using leather goods to make a leather cover for what is in effect a traveller's notebook, albeit not for travelling, but for astronomy. If you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it, then please leave a thumbs up. If you haven't already, then please subscribe. If you've got any comments or you're still watching, then just say hi below so that I know that you got all the way to the end. Thanks for watching.